Now this final chord sends back the messages to the effector organ. Now there is a big difference between the receptor organ and the effector organ, right? Receptor organ means the organ which is receiving the stimulus, right? And the effector organ that is a muscle which is getting the effect of that particular stimulus, right? So the effector organ is going to get the messages from the spinal cord through a nerve which is known as motor nerve. Now this effector organ that is muscle, they produce the response, right? The spinal cord has given the messages and in, according, in accordance with that message, they, this effector organ gives the response that is a withdrawal of hand. So when the heat is given, when you put your finger on a hot plate, you lift your finger, that is you withdraw your hand from that plate and that is nothing but the response. So the heat which is given that is stimulus and when you keep your finger on it and when you withdraw it that is response. So the whole pathway which is created over here it, and it forms the reflex action. The whole pathway of reflex action explains the reflex arm. Right? So this is the flow chart of the mechanism of the reflex action. Now upon the reflex action we have written your response. But three different types of responses are being produced. But before going to that, two types of responses are mainly observed, voluntary and involuntary. In the previous video, I have told you about this. The voluntary or voluntary mechanisms are said to be, it is in our control and involuntary means it is not in our control, right? So three types of responses are the first is voluntary, second is involuntary and the third is Relax action. Now first voluntary that is controlled by the forebrain. See forebrain, midbrain and hindbrain. There, is three, there are three different types of brain. When we are going to study the human brain in detail in the next video, at that time you will be having exact idea about the forebrain, midbrain and hindbrain. Right? But here the voluntary movements or the voluntary responses are being controlled by the forebrain. The example of it is writing, walking, talking, right, running. So, voluntary. If you want to run, then only you will run. If you want to write, then only you will write, right. So, those kind of movements or those kind of responses are said to be voluntary responses. That means they all are in your control. Second type of responses are involuntary responses and those responses are not in your control. And those responses are being controlled by your two brains that is midbrain and the hindbrain. Midbrain that is the middlemost brain and the hindbrain that is the last portion of the brain. And the example of involuntary response is you can take is the beating of the heart that is heartbeat. Then vomiting, right? Then the blinking of the eyes that is coming under the reflex action, right? Reflex action is being controlled by the spinal cord. See, I have written here the reflex action whole pathway that is dependent on the spinal cord. If your spinal cord is not working, then the stimulus is being controlled. The sensory nerve is bringing the messages to the spinal cord. But if the spinal cord is not working, then it is not going to create the response, right? This particular, if for example, you might have uh, heard about the patients of coma, right? Some patients are going in coma. That means their the particular body or the particular nerves are not able to send the messages to the brain and the spinal cord. And in accordance to that, what happens? The brain and the spinal cord is not able to create the responses. And thus, what happens? The body is not giving any type of responses to the any of the stimulus. So, here this is the three types of responses, voluntary, involuntary and reflex action. I hope now you are here with this topic, 